whatever was said uh, about the communication that happened during uh, the decision that was made was inaccurate. Um, I was contacted uh, one and a half hours before the selection meeting on the 8th for the test series. Um, and there was no prior communication with me at all since uh, I announced the T20 uh, captaincy decision up till the 8th of December, where, as I said, I got a call one and a half hours before the selection meeting and um, the chief selector discussed with me the test team, um, to which we both agreed. And uh, before ending the call, I was told that the five selectors have decided that I will not be the ODI captain, to which I replied, okay, fine. Um, and in the, in the selection call afterwards, we chatted about it briefly. And that's what happened. Uh, there was no communication prior to that uh, at all. Hi, Virat. Uh, you have mentioned this before as well, how mentally tough one has to be to thrive in sport. So when there's so much happening all around, some decisions are going against you or just, as you mentioned, as late as one and a half hour before a selection call, maybe you're not quite in the right frame of mind as you'd love to be ahead of such an important tour. How do you switch off and deal with it? Bro? Like, what's your coping mechanism like? Well, nothing can derail me from, from being motivated to play for India, uh, to be prepared for a for a tour like this and to perform uh, to the best of my abilities, nothing has ever derailed and nothing can de derail me from that. Um, yeah, a lot of things that happen on the outside are, are not ideal and not always uh, how one expects them to be. But um, you have to understand there's only so much that you can do as an individual and, and um, we have to uh, keep the things in right perspective perspective and, and do the things that you can as an individual in, in my control. So I'm very focused. I'm very um, mentally prepared and very excited to go to South Africa and um, do the best that I can for the team and make the team win. I have taken a lot of pride in performing as a captain as well for the team and I've, I've done the best that I could. Um, I think uh, what, what I know is that my motivation levels to perform for the team will not dip at all. Um, and I will, I will always be prepared and eager to perform in the same manner. Um, and about captaincy, as I said, I think um, one thing I can say is that I've been honest to, to my responsibility and I've done it to the best of my potential or whatever I could. Um, and that I've, I've been absolutely honest to that job. So, um, yeah, that's, that's my assessment of, of my uh, limited overs captaincy. Um, and the batting, look, of course, when... When you know you've been you've been doing well for a long time at the international level, you know how to perform. So uh, those things can never go away from you. Um, and it's just about understanding your roles and understanding the situation that you're going to play in and making sure that you perform for the team.